Welcome to the CRC Resource Center, presented by the Angiogenesis Foundation. This animation describes colorectal cancer and the role of angiogenesis in cancer development. Colorectal cancer, or CRC, is the fourth most common cancer in men and women, usually diagnosed in people aged 50 years or older. It occurs in the colon, which is the large intestine, and also occurs in the rectum, which is the connecting pathway between the colon and the anus. Colorectal cancer typically develops from colorectal polyps, which are abnormal growths that develop silently inside the colon or rectum. Although most polyps will not become cancerous, some may develop into cancer. Type, location, size, and the number of polyps are related to the risk of developing colorectal cancer. Individuals with a family history of polyps may also be at higher genetic risk for developing polyps and therefore at higher risk for colorectal cancer. When caught early through preventative screenings, polyps are removed, which can prevent the development of CRC. If they are not caught early, some polyps can become cancerous. Tumors can eventually grow through the colon wall and may spread into the surrounding tissue or to other parts of the body. When cancer has spread to distant parts of the body, it is called metastatic colorectal cancer. The most common sites of colorectal cancer metastases are the liver, lung, and bone. Solid cancers have been shown to depend upon angiogenesis, the growth of new blood vessels from pre-existing blood vessels. A tumor that is in its early stages of development cannot grow past a few millimeters in diameter unless blood vessels supply it with oxygen and nutrients. In this way, blood vessels serve as lifelines to cancer cells. How does it work? Cells in the center of the tumor mass have to compete with their neighboring cells for access to oxygen and nutrients. When they begin to starve, they release growth factors as a distress signal to the surrounding tissue. Nearby blood vessels receive these signals and begin to grow new vessels toward the source. As long as the signal continues, the vessels will continue to grow in its direction. Vessels that grow into the tumor nourish the tumor tissue, delivering oxygen and essential nutrients, but are structurally abnormal. As the tumor grows larger, signaling may increase and encourage even more blood vessel growth. As the tumor expands, it invades surrounding tissue. Cancer cells spread as metastasis through the blood vessels and lymph nodes, then to distant organs in the later stages of CRC progression. Colorectal cancer can take years to develop and rarely has any symptoms in the early stages, which is when it is most treatable. So it is important to be consistent about getting annual screenings after the age of 50 or as determined by your doctor. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with colorectal cancer, learn about your treatment options in the next video and know how to work with your doctor to ensure you receive the highest quality care.